start the meeting on Tuesday, March 24th, 733. We've got five members present. Yeah, we have a quorum. We can vote as we're going. Uh, I'd like to make a motion that we accept the minutes as they were presented for our last meeting. Do I have a second? Second. Although I'm just reading it now. I just got second it. Oh, okay. Got it to come up. Who wants to read it? Any, you, you want to take it? a quick gander? Yeah. Do Someone you mind? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any, any discussion? No. no. All in favor except for minutes, say aye. 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 Five zero zero, easy enough. Um, we have a couple items that we have to take care of. Uh, one is Colleen and Keith. Oh, yeah. Both of their appointments are coming up. Um, I sent it out to see if you guys wanted to maintain and continue. Um, Keith didn't respond. Did he talk to anybody here that he does not want to continue? No. No, and I didn't respond either. I, I thought it was just, we just had I, to be. It's pretty much just a formality. Okay. But I just have to let Jason Hope know that you guys want to continue. Yes. Um, we don't usually vote in the reinstatements unless anybody no, wants to. No, you just so tell Jason that we, we just, I'm just going to tell Jason you okay. both want to continue. There's no objections to the rest of us, and we'll get that taken, taken care of and squared away as it's going. Um, Steve Perry is no longer assigned as our selectman officio. And it's now going to be John Burnell, who sent me an email about 45 minutes saying he already had an appointment scheduled for tonight, so we won't be able to make it. And it hopes to make it to the next meeting as it goes along. Um, all right. We have nobody hanging at this point, which is always good. Mm -hmm. You want to go first? Because you got your... Are you ready to I know, talk? No, I'm prepared. It's it's the week of, and yeah, it's I, it's yeah. one of, it's stressful. Of course, it's like you know, 50 million meetings and events this week too. Um, just wanted to see if I could pass this in, and maybe Colleen, could you get this up on the website? Yes. All the I information. Actually, yeah, Perfect. Sent you something. Yeah, Jason asked me for the information, and I told him eventually be up on the site. Can I use the same picture it. as last year, and just change sure. the? Uh, I just steal those from the. In, well, right. Not steal. I borrow them from the internet. And just change the date. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that would be perfect if you don't mind doing that. Okay. Um, the times are different though this year. Yes, we had to extend it a little bit further out because the magician's going to be held up in the morning. Um, did you happen to get my email on Sunday? So you asked about the. Okay, is this the one for the rugs? Yes. Was that okay? Yes. I have to see if I can reach out to that person. Okay. Um, the popcorn machine. I'm looking at it now. The popcorn machine, as far as I know, is working. It is, okay. Yeah. Last year it wasn't. So I had to run down and grab another one from the rental center. And then Keith said, we you should have told me we had an extra one. Exactly. So, so let me, let's check it. Okay. Are you in perfect. there? I'm going to be in there Saturday night. So I figured I would. Let's check it before Saturday. Uh, well, right. Yeah. Oh, that's true because they're not open Sunday. On Sunday. So. Yeah, and the other places. Um, I can run over there tomorrow and check okay. it. Okay. Get in, I guess, and just see if it heats up, right? Okay. Then. I suppose that's and then um, so the you can rugs. use it on Sunday, yes. And then, I, I, yeah, it should it should be fine. If not, we'll we'll figure something out okay. for the popcorn, the popcorn machine. Popcorn. Okay. Yeah. And now, how about the rugs? I'll Keith check. Is going to look into that too. Oh, it was and Keith. Okay. I was sure. well. I saw him about a week ago here when okay. I was talking to Kevin, and he said that he, you know, hey, we have our rugs. Maybe I can see if you can borrow them and haven't heard anything so you we're our rugs what did he mean well the, the rugs that you used for Winterfest not yours right and that was the right. person I was gonna reach out to right to exactly yeah I guess rugs. they have logos on it yes and that kind of yep. stuff yep. and we're not doing the bounce house this year just because it's so snowy that it's just gonna be an absolute mess in there so I figured if you know you had some rugs or if you had a contact that I have a great. contact okay so let me reach out to her and see if she can get the rugs okay or at least point you in the direction of getting the rugs okay and um it's just I think okay we're, yeah because i'm not first okay perfect i wasn't sure if um my email was working because i sent out another email i thought to everybody 
but the only person that responded was Kevin. It was about ta uh, Talent Hall. Nobody got that. I didn't get Talent Hall. I got the one that you sent to me, Keith, and I apologize. I just didn't. Okay. What yeah. is the actual address? Because I'm going by what I have in here. So and I'm wondering if I wrote it is wrong. RC yeah. at litchfieldnh.gov. Okay. I thought that's what I had, but maybe I did. Um, you sent something to that regarding talent? Yeah, to talent. Um, I'll pull it up real quick and I'll see where I sent it. I, I probably just, just sent it to the wrong place. On the 22nd, any word on the rugs. That's the okay. email. Uh, okay. So I sent it to... Oh, I will not show. Okay. Oh, no. So, okay. So I got a mail delivery subsystem. Oh, that's what I did. Rec at litchfieldrec.com. Is that not working anymore? It's gone. Oh, it's okay. All right. That's why. Okay, so I'll take. I'll figure out how to take that out. Okay, um, so what my question was at talent: Is there any way, or have you guys ever done something where somebody goes and does like a nightly check at talent for like? Because you said that the heat tape, was, the the um, the switch for the heat tape was off, and that's why the pipe froze. So Jess, we're only allowed to have been for so many hours, so. We don't have the budget, and the rest of us are volunteers. We don't have an employee. Oh, right. No, yes, I was... Right. right. So right. who said, who's... Kevin said what? No, no, I wrote to everybody, and I CC'd Kevin to see if, if anything's ever been set up where somebody goes in on a nightly basis and does, like, a check to make sure the lights are off, it's cleaned up, the... I don't no, think you're going like to find a volunteer who's yeah. going to be willing to do that. It'd have to be an we, employee. I mean, during basketball oh, so. season in the past, I would do it on Saturday nights only because we were in there all day. But beyond that, no, there's no nobody heading back in and checking the facility out. Okay. Um, all right. So, is that and not something we'd want to <laughs> add to? We're interested in yeah, certainly. not something we'd want to add okay. to his. You know, right now we're we budget wise. Yeah. His hours. We don't have more money in it. Right. I wasn't even. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that that yeah, would be I the wasn't. only person we'd have available to pay to do something. Paid, right. Right. Yeah, okay. Volunteer well, most of the stuff is... Well, anybody can do it. I mean, like the tape, that the heat tape, nobody would... That wouldn't be on a checklist. That would be, I mean... Because it would be such a small thing. You wouldn't be checking every circuit breaker, and you wouldn't be able to physically check to see if the okay. heat tape was on. Uh, mm -hmm. And most stuff is pretty self-sufficient as far as the lights. They're all on timers. Okay. Um, so actually, if, some, if everybody... If they left all the lights on in the building... Yeah. And walked They'd eventually out, go out. 25 minutes later... Okay. Oh, be dark okay and the heat well the heat as well there's been many times that i've gone in and the heat i call kevin the heat's not working it's not up somebody has shut it off that box is supposed to be locked and closed and and all that well, it's probably the heat just not working properly oh no it was shut off kevin came down and he had to switch it back on huh. yeah so i was just okay well, I guess I won't volunteer then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I would just, I'm right down the street. The, the only follow up I'd ask for is, and again, if you get the right email, is zip us all an email if you get in there in the morning like that and it's off and we'll okay. contact the group that was there last. Okay. Say, what are you touching the heat for? And yeah. See if that was actually that person. Okay. Uh, Usually I just call in a panic, call Kevin to get down there to fix it. Right, but the, the follow up would be get the email yeah. after that. Yeah. Email, see if there's a, there's a pattern if it's one particular group. Doing right. It? Right. Well, it's just like the messiness when, you know, I go in on Tuesday morning and the toys are spread out all over the place, which we've never had a problem sharing the toys. Obviously, you know, if you're doing basketball or lacrosse or somebody's in there and you've got younger kids, of course, they're going to go and play with the toys and we don't have a problem with that. It's just when they're, you know, in 15 pieces and they're, you know, in the sink and, you know, I disinfect those specifically after every time we use it. So our so we don't spread germs and all that. And we we can watch for patent who's in there before you. Okay. That's, that's the easiest thing to do. So okay. e even things like that, a quick email says, "Hey, yeah, yeah. the ball spread out. We can yeah. back it up." <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. I think it's the pickleball people. people. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Okay, just a thought. Never mind. How's the How's the hunt? Are you ready to roll? Uh, we're we're getting there. I still have to to. I did all the baskets. I still have to do the three hundred participation bags. I'm just procrastinating. <laughs> yeah, I can have any. 
Um, well, Hudson canceled their Easter egg hunt. So I've already, we've already had people like, hey, is it for only residents? And which right when I heard they canceled it, I was like, uh oh, maybe 300 is not going to be enough. But I'm already way over budget. Not way over, but I'm already over budget. So there's no. Do you know St. Francis do. canceled theirs? Or? I don't know. All I heard was, was Hudson. In Hudson, they have. What you might want to do is contact St. Francis. Yeah. And if they have done it, if they have canceled it, they might have stuff. And maybe okay. willing to to help you out and. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. If, if a lot of their kids are going to come down, maybe they can. Right. Assist. Yeah, it's worth a worth a try, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, perfect. Thank you. I'll do that tomorrow. Other than that, everything is is hunky dory. <laughs> Just um, I just need to contact Ben. Great. Just to get it in record, as we're all aware, water was, um, pipes were frozen, and we're good enough, and I don't know the cost yet towards what it's going to go. We got somebody in Woodhawk that agreed to let us run the water line from their house to Town Hall to get water in there so we could hold the comedy night. That water line that was frozen, they dug up. It's thawed. They pulled out you know, whatever, a five-foot chunk of ice like this out of it, that's going to be some cost to us at some point in the summer as well to dig that line up and find out, you know, what, what caused so it. that falls under yeah. us? Yeah. Well, we're, from, we're, from so it's working now? It's, it's okay now? Oh, the water is working in the building now. There is still a water line coming out of the building that is turned on real low to drain water out and keep the water cycling. The lack of water usage in Town Hall when the freeze hit is what is suspected of what froze that pipe, the main pipe coming in, um, because it wasn't moving quickly, just where the street pipe would have been moving quick, quickly, our, our line froze at that point. So he's got it on a continuous flow right now, real slow flow draining out of the building. When the freezing weather changes, he'll end that and then Kind of shop will come back some point over the next few months and try to come up with a solution towards it. Where exactly was the freeze though? Where it was in Under the, the parking, parking lot somewhere. Yeah. yeah. It is our pipe from the street through to the building, not kind of shop. It's just like a regular. But I thought it, I thought that pipe went to the fire hydrant. It, it was. It was as far as I know, according to Kevin. It's. But that our, supplies the fire hydrant. Okay. So that's not ours. I'm being told it is. Okay. We can we can try and battle on it when it comes across. Uh, my my first assessment was it wouldn't be ours as well, but I, I lost that whole battle. It came came back in the li same line with the electrical stuff we have coming off the street going onto the property that we end up owning that that same material. So uh, we we can get into that and let Kevin and Penichuk and the selectmen or whatever battle with it. Okay. No cost figures right now, just where it stands. Um, it did bring up a, an access point or an access problem. I sent out a couple of emails trying to get people to stop driving into the property and around the property um, and parking on the property. And that became an issue and something I wanted to talk about tonight, find out where the rest of the Rec Commission members stand. They showed up last week. There were two cars parked on the front grass right in front of Town Hall, two trucks, which made no sense to me. We've got a tired area going around the property, ask people to stay off the property because of the piping going through, and then I got two trucks parked on the grass. So the conversation's gone back and forth. Some of you have seen the emails, basically me saying, well, why, why are we doing this? Why do we have anybody in here at all? There's been some pickleball access. People have been parking on there because of the handicaps. So they've been parking on the road going in because of ice on the road. Kevin said he'd address the drainage problems for next year this summer so we can keep that clearer but clearly we have issues towards the grass and I'm looking for recommendations towards what you guys think we should do towards that um, you know it, there's we only really hold one power towards people not following the rules we have and that's to deny him access at that point um, I'm just not sure if we want to hold it to a meeting and wait if somebody does something that's wrong or if we should have a policy that says you know what? Well, we can you, we can actually it. we talked about it at one meeting a couple of years ago, and I don't know. We have to go through the board of selectmen, I think, for an ordinance. Basically, if we post no parking and make sure that there's a town ordinance on the no parking on that area, and then the police can come in and ticket. 
Yeah, okay. I mean, are you so are you saying no part? I mean, this was. I mean, I read the emails. Um, was it just a parking, a, a temporary parking, dropping something off, and then, and then moving away? I mean, but people, that, that's the claim, is we were going right, to leave. But again, when you, when why do you have to be on the grass? Right. The oh, I don't know why people are on the grass. I don't. And it is there? I haven't been there in a bit. If there really is grass, every time I've gone, there's just been snow. So, if there's grass, oh, now, it's clear now. Yeah, it's no, clear it's now. clear right in the front now. I mean, we have to. I know there were signs at one point to say no driving around because of the the hose. Now that had since been taken down, and Kevin said that there was, you could, apparently go around. Now, I think if we're going to mandate no parking, then we need to, especially for the, for the pickleballers, we need to figure out our drainage thing. Because I can't believe no one has fallen down and broken something this year. Yeah. With Kevin, didn't health. Kevin say that was going to be? He said he'd address that. Care. So. How poor this summer. summer. This Speaking summer, is plants. it going to be taken care of? Okay, yeah. and that's fine because the the drainage around there is atrocious. Yeah, Anyone totally walking with kids, any older people. But as such, if if I mean on an exception basis, if we were to say, okay, listen, you've got you know people have issues walking, just like a regular handicapped space, we don't have a problem with you parking in the area right. while somebody's here. Well, what we about to, like you know you know what makes the, the bend department. when it has that bend and there's that area, the deck going out. At the, at, the far, at the other end. That's far back. Yeah. If we put some gravel down there and put some handicapped parking signs down there, mm. we could make handicapped parking down there, and that way it would take, they, you know, there would be a spot for yeah. them to park, and that's... I'd be okay with that. Yeah. I mean, that, and it would be better access for them because now they can get right onto the pavement. They don't have to work, deal with the parking lot. Uh, you, know, the you know, if it's wet and it's muddy or whatever, uh, they can go right onto, almost right onto the pavement and get right to the front door. I mean, access, a coach pulling around the back of the building to offload equipment to get it inside the building and then pull his car out of there doesn't, right. that, that, I guess they don't have an issue with that. Can, can on a regular basis, that, so I didn't those, know if those people, are, there are people showing up and it's gone from, yeah, you know, I'm dropping stuff off to, well, I had to drop stuff off, so I pulled my car right here and I've just stopped and mm -hmm. I'm sitting here. And, and I find that to be. Well, when they're parking on the grass, I find it to be almost arrogant because we're responsible at that point when it looks like a mess yeah. as a group. And it comes out of our budget at that point. Right. And we put the sprinkler system in around the, on that grass around the hall. And I, I know. Um, I know. And my, my question, though, is do you support, I, I guess it's going to turn into a, a battle of who goes there, and, and I seem to do drive-bys on, on a fairly regular basis that makes me go and look. And well, I, th say, I think we need to obviously put signage up, because if it is being, if people are, are truly staying there for a long time, I can see dr running, dropping something off and running out, but if there's people that are parking for long periods of time, then we do need signage up. Should it be a drive-around drop-off for parents? I mean, as that road goes, should that be an yeah, access point where tough. parents are driving in, going around the building, dropping the kids off at the back door, and, and leaving? I can't. I, on a day like today, I like it because it's a lot less mud going into the hall. Um, on a day when it's when it's like sub zero and the wind chill is amazing, I like it too because yeah. it's like I, I get that. But again, we're back to a tiny roadway that wasn't put in for that reason. Right. With sprinkler heads sitting on the side. We've got the septic system to one side of the property, and we don't really have a, a good method of controlling that process. I don't have, if the rest of the commission thinks I, it's okay to go around, I, I'm just not sure. I think that we should wait and see what Kevin does as far as the drainage, because if people don't want to park in the parking lot and walk over because it's cold, oh well, too bad. If it's icy and dangerous, that's another issue. Yeah. Like cold, I'm sorry, too bad. <laughs> Yeah, well, the ice is definitely a problem. All right, so I'll play wait and see on this one. I won't. You know, the other thing I was the issue. thinking of is if we're going to have to, we have to regrade the parking lot at some point because it's really getting bad. Um, I mean, the mud, the mm -hmm. mud comes up through the gravel and now it's all dirt on top of the gravel. The gravel sunk down. But towards the right hand side, since we're making that back door pretty much the main entrance, uh, we could put a cut through for that gate. Back there. Well, the gate's open most of the time. But I mean, not, not, the but I'm, I'm probably saying about 25 feet closer to the main gate and basically just have a, a, a walking path 
that goes right to right behind the shed, right to that door. Uh, and that way people can walk there, and it's a shorter walk, they're not walking all the way around. It's, you park and down that end. And the drainage isn't At least it's not gonna be this right. ice, that side. Because I think he's gonna have trouble with the drainage. And it's just, there's no place for it to go. I, I agree. I'm not sure what his thought process on it, but I figure between him and the Litchfield Department of whatever we have, roads, they can take care of something, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, all right. So is there a way, if we do gravel that area down there and put handicap parking, mm -hmm. can we also gravel a little walking path so people are aware of it? There's, already, there's, there's, there's already one walking path almost to the fence line to the houses in the back of Woodhawk, part right. of that original trail. There's actually a path, but to get one closer wouldn't be a big deal if we're already put, pouring a couple of trucks of gravel in there. Yeah, yeah. I just think most people don't even and see it. And all those trees have been cleared out. Right. So. All right, I'll talk That's to Kevin end. about what the thought process is and we'll try to move on from there. Um, and I'll try to maintain my composure when I see people in the grass um, at this time of year. That was all I had. Does somebody have any requests or anything that you're aware of? As far as I know, everything is moving smooth. I think everything's going smoothly. Um, I did update the the site with the dates for the, the meetings. Yeah, the group meetings. Um, it was the first Tuesday of I think it was May, August, and S September. I put it on the website. So the next one will be May, and. I think that's it. I'll take care of this, Jesse, and, and check on the rug person. And I did back out CHS out of talent. Their requests, he email, emailed yeah, me. Yeah, I that, saw that. Um, I don't know if he copied everybody, mm -hmm. that they were able to get into GMS except for three dates. So they saved those three dates. And then, so they're so off who the did talent. they bump out of facility use for those three dates? They couldn't get. You said they got. You gave them talent for those three days. They well, they had already. We'd already given them time. Oh, you had. Okay. So we just. I took them off on every date except for those three dates that they still needed. So now it opened up some time. If people want to request it, they can request it. All right. I have nothing else. You guys don't want to talk. We can talk. Can we turn off? Oh, all right. Anybody have anything else for the meeting then? All right. Make a motion to adjourn. You have a second. I'll say it. Okay, say aye. 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 A